Hi, I'm Veronica Mohoffer. Um, I'm Austrian and I grew up in Switzerland. I'm a FIFA Master Alumni of the fourth edition and I am now the CEO of the Swiss Rugby Union and I also run my own consultancy business. Hi, I'm James Kitching. I'm Australian-Italian and I'm from the 12th edition of the FIFA Master. I'm currently the Director of Football Regulatory at FIFA in Zurich. After a few years of working as a lawyer in Australia, um, I started looking for an opportunity to move into the sports industry. Um, as you can probably tell from my physical appearance, I'm not a former professional athlete, so it's very difficult to, uh, to break into sports. And I'm from Adelaide, which is a a small town compared to Melbourne or Sydney, so um, there's not much opportunity there from a professional sport perspective. So I began looking at academic programs and uh, researched several programs, and for me, the FIFA Master was the one that stood out, um, both from an industry-facing perspective, uh, the caliber of the alumni and the unique nature of the course. And and so for me, um, I applied and I was very lucky to get in, and, and, and here I am now. So. Um, you know, there's a lot of different elements which 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 went into that, but uh, you know that that's that's basically it. I've always been involved in sports my whole life. I've been playing sports, and then uh, even while I was in university, um, I I worked in sports and played sports still. Um, and uh, after I got my bachelor's degree and master's degree from Stanford University, um, I worked for a couple of years in a in a sports organization. And I wanted to solidify my career. Um, with a solid education um, in sports to really to really launch into a career in sports management. And so um, mm -hmm. at the time, this was back in 2003, I researched a lot of different programs and the FIFA master program really stood out already at that time, even though at the time um, it was much less well known than it is now. And then, well, as they say, maybe the rest is history. I'd say it really helped me do what I was hoping for, which is really to launch um, to launch a, a formal career in sports management. Um, well, so-called career, uh, if you if you can call it that. But um, it was it was thanks to the the um, contacts uh, I was able to make in the FIFA Master that I actually got my first a job in in a big sport events, uh, which was my goal to work in the Olympics, and that's actually how in 2004. I got my first job working for the uh, organizing committee of the Winter Olympics in Torino. You know, the FIFA Master for me was uh, a segue into the sports industry. It was a, a way to open that door. And I was really lucky uh, that uh, the day before I graduated, actually, I got a phone call from a person that I had interviewed for my final thesis. Um, and he invited me to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia for a one month consultancy contract uh which turned into five and a half years of working in in the asian football confederation which launched my career in in football law where i am now that person who just happened to call me um you know whatever it was eight and a half years ago or so eight years ago or so he's now the the ceo of football federation australia you know it's amazing how um the master just works like that and, and can open those doors and put those connections for you so for me, that was the, the primary benefit. It helped launch the career exactly as I, I was hoping. Oh, cool. What a great story about about the day before graduation. Uh, congratulations on that. What a great score. International, I think that's obvious. Opportunity, also obvious. And challenging, um, it's three. Um, all with different meanings, which I can and cannot explain. Um, Yourself, do you have three words uh, that you well, could use to describe the master? Like you, when I thought about it, there's many, many words came to mind, among which the three you already mentioned. So I'll build on top of that. I definitely say it was uh, intense. <laughs> um, it was also very broad uh, in terms of the type of base of knowledge that that it that it provides. And to me, it was definitely enriching in in so many different ways. So what was the biggest challenge for you? during the master during that that 10 month period for me the biggest challenge i'd have to say was was the law module um it was extremely interesting to me it was it's become extremely useful in my career since but it was certainly the biggest challenge because um you know the what we learned there in in the law module was a different a new way of thinking from what i had learned before um in business and in sports management but 
I, I'd say since then, it's probably been the most useful part of new knowledge I learned in a master because um, in my career uh, so far, I've worked so much on, on contracts, on rights, on, on all kinds of different things that were touched on or that we gained an overview in uh, through the law module. For me, the biggest challenges were, I would say, off the pitch as opposed to on the pitch. Um, you know, coming from Australia to Europe, uh, two things really. One was separation from uh, from my partner. Um, you know, we have to make a you make sacrifices when you look to work internationally, and so we spent a fair time apart from each other. Left left my family behind as well in Australia. And the other thing I think for someone coming from outside Europe into Europe, even though I do have a, a European uh, citizenship uh, is sort of the great unknown. That was for me the big challenge, not knowing what was going to come next after after the master, where I would potentially end up and, and how I would, um, you know, enter the industry. You know, the biggest memories actually, again, were, were I'd say off the pitch, you know, all the time spent together with, um, with the classmates, making lifelong friendships. Um, you know all the all the sort of cultural experiences that you experience outside of uh, outside of the class. I mean, what other opportunity are you going to get in your life? Probably where uh, you, you're overseas studying in sport, a medium that you love, and you know you can go and visit uh, and have access to all types of sporting events and, and clubs. So I thought that was uh, definitely one of I'd say a category of memories as opposed to one. Um, and yourself. Favorite memory or memories from the FIFA Master? Yeah, I would say certainly along the same lines as you said, uh, just a camaraderie with the classmates and sort of this type of, of building of a network with them and aperitivi with them in Milano and, and you know, visiting a parts of England and things are definitely favorite memories, but also in terms of the, uh, the more um, kind of official side for me, uh, certainly the portion in England in Leicester and visiting a lot of the hallowed grounds of sports like Wimbledon and, and Manchester United and things like that and hearing from the people who work there in the business and like the the, the temples of, of, of the sports business um, it has, was really amazing and priceless and it's, it's a fantastic memory. On one side, uh, it's a it's a vast network nowadays. When I first uh, took the master's course, it was in its fourth edition, and so the FIFA Master Alumni Association was just actually founded um, in 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 that year, the year before. And unbelievably, now uh, the FIFA Masters in its twentieth year, and it's a huge uh, community of alumni. Um, so, who, which is placed all over the sports business in higher and higher positions. When I moved to Kuala Lumpur four days after leaving Nushatel. Um, the, you know, the first people that greeted me were uh, FIFA Master alumni and basically took me under their wing. They'd worked at the AFC for a long time and they could help me. Uh, they could help me with, you know, the peculiarities of moving to Malaysia and, and dealing with uh, a different business culture. And, um, you know, I did the same when, when new alumni came in, you know, that's, it's, it's I don't like using this word very much because it has other connotations, but you know, really it really was a bit like a family, um, you know, in terms of people coming in and having an instant point of reference with uh, with you. And then before I joined FIFA, I was an entrepreneur and exactly the same as yourself. You know, when you're looking for uh, business leads or you're looking for expertise that you can subcontract and assist you on your jobs, um, et cetera, you know, the FIFA master really was able to provide um, you know, provide that, uh, you know, that, that knowledge pool for me. Work hard, um, take your opportunities that come. Networking is obviously a, a crucial tool. You know, the added value of the course, aside from the academic content, of course, is the, the instant access to the sports industry. So, you know, people in prominent positions in, in various international federations, clubs, etc. cetera, um, be polite. I think is is, uh, is 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 something which which I've I've, I've tried to, to follow and, and the advice I give because the sports industry is very small um, and pick your moments because you don't know when opportunity may 
uh, may strike. Make the most of it. Seize the, seize the opportunity with both hands and jump, really jump in. Um, and then on the academic side, try to absorb really as much as possible. I mean, you know, I give that example of the law module. If it does, Even if it's difficult, foreign for you or it doesn't seem relevant, you, it's totally going to broaden your knowledge and your expertise and you are going to be able to uh, benefit from it later in your career. Great to have a chat and um, look forward to catch up when I get back to Zurich from Australia after yes. uh, after the world hopefully gets a bit safer. Um, so all yes. the best. Stay safe. It was really lovely to talk to you and stay safe as well and have a safe trip back once you can come back. You too. All the best. Looking forward to it. See you soon. Bye-bye.